हेलो गाइस एंड वेलकम टू द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री दिस इज द फर्स्ट चैप्टर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री व्हिच इज नोन एज जनरल ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री आई विल टेक 14 टू 15 लेक्चर्स ऑन जीओसी एंड दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर इन व्हिच आई विल कवर टू सब टॉपिक्स वन इज टाइप ऑफ बॉन्ड क्लीवेज एंड सेकंड इज इंडक्टिंग इफेक्ट so let's start the basic concept of type of bond cleavage in organic chemistry how i define the bond cleavage in chemistry if you take any reaction there are two things happening in all reaction first let's say the two molecules are aa and bb if it is a chemical reaction and it form ab let's say two molecules so what happened in this particular reaction the old bond between A and A breaks and the new bond between A and B forms. That means in a chemical reaction, two things happening. One, old bond cleavage and new bond form. So all chemical reactions are classified or proceed through this mechanism. Few bonds cleavage take place and there are few bond which form. So organic chemistry maximum type of bond cleavage or formation are of two type one is homolytic bond dissociation and second is heterolytic bond dissociation how you define homolytic and heterolytic let's say there is a molecule between a and a a is a atom a a form a molecule and this is a covalent bond now if we have to break this covalent bond there is a possibility that this electron will be taken by this A and this electron is taken by this A. That means from this covalent bond, both the electron are taken by both the A and the cleavage take place by forming a radical. This is free radical. So we form two A and both A are free radical. Now there is one more possibility that is A, let's say B is another atom and B is more electronegative than A. So if we cleavage this bond, both the electron are taken by this B. Now, what happened? This A loses one electron and this B gain one this extra electron. So, B extra electron, if it gain one extra electron, the charge of B become minus 1. And because A loses one electron, charge of A become plus 1. So we will get two ions A plus and B minus. So if the bond cleavage by this method, it is known as homolytic cleavage. If the bond cleavage in this method, it is known as heterolytic cleavage. Going ahead in the homolytic cleavage, free radicals form and in heterolytic cleavage, ions form. You can able to see that in heterolytic cleavage, both the shared electron is accepted by the more electronegative atom. So such kind of cleavage is known as heterolytic cleavage. So in the organic reaction mechanism, you can able to see that these are the two type of bond cleavage. Either they form free radical or they form ions plus or minus. Now, how we decide or define whether the bond cleavage proceed through homolytic or heterolytic? So what are the condition for homolytic? First, start with the condition of homolytic cleavage. Homolytic cleavage in general, I am talking about in general, take place in gaseous phase reaction. You have seen some reactions are vapor phase. The temperature, if you increase the temperature, the molecules converted to gaseous phase and the cleavage occurs in gaseous phase. In maximum cases, homolytic cleavage take place in non-polar solvent. This is because you know that polar or similar things dissolve like dissolve like type of concept so because radicals are neutral all radical radicals are neutral so non-polar solvent are having no charge in the molecule so like dissolve like this is the reason that non-polar solvent prefer homolytic cleavage forming radical there are some reactions which are taken place in presence of light. You have seen many reactions in which A2 plus B2 and the arrow H mu, H mu means light, photons or photochemical reaction. All photochemical reaction like AA 
if you take photons it will give radical irrespective of the polarity of the molecule if the reaction is proceeded in presence of photon the reaction is forming radical so all photochemical reactions are homolytic cleavage so there are some radical inhibitors like peroxides or the reaction which are taking place in presence of radical I, uh, let us take an example of hydrochloric acid you know in hcl this bond is polar the electron are towards cl and when you dissolve hcl in any solvent it give h plus and cl minus and proceed through heterolytic cleavage but if photons are added in hcl homolytic cleavage take place similarly if in hcl you take one x radical this last point will act in this layer this x radical initiate homolytic cleavage so can we say homolytic or heterolytic cleavage mainly depend upon the condition in which the reaction is going to proceed rather than the molecular polarity molecular polarity is the important factor but mainly depend upon the condition on which we are going to take the reaction so moving ahead conditions of heterolytic cleavage just like in the homolytic heterolytic cleavage mainly take place in presence of ion cation anion h plus oh minus na plus such kind of ions heterolytic cleavage is present in presence of oxidizing and reducing agent like potassium permanganate potassium dichromate lithium aluminium hydride sodium borohydride in such type of oxidizing and reducing agent homolytic sorry heterolytic cleavage initiated and again i am so this is a repetition this uh, in presence of ion in presence of oxidizing reducing agent in presence of polar solvent polar solvent like water ethanol so all these polar solvent initiate heterolytic cleavage just like in the non polar solvent initiated homolytic cleavage so there are conditions for homolytic cleavage as well as there are condition for heterolytic cleavage mainly it is condition dependent reaction if i will take h h and this molecule is treated with some ion so this is non polar solvent if this h plus is absent i can able to go for homolytic cleavage but if h plus is added this is ion in presence of h plus this non polar molecule initiate heterolytic cleavage so in presence of potassium permanganate dichromate polar solvent water ethanol all these initiate heterolytic cleavage by forming ions now coming up to another basic concept of inducting effect but before proceeding to the inducting effect concept we have to understand the difference between polar and non polar bonds see in this example there are two hydrogen atom forming a non polar bond why it is non polar because the electron between these two molecules are distributed equally in both the hydrogen nuclei forming neutral molecule so this is a non polar molecule now you can able to see hydrogen and chlorine as you know that the chlorine is more electronegative so the electron between from the bond length is towards chlorine so this chlorine accepted maximum electron cloud towards itself and generated partial negative charge and in hydrogen there is a partial positive charge because of this partial positive partial negative such molecules are known as non polar molecule or non polar bond and such molecules are polar so in polar molecule there is no charge in the atoms of the molecule whereas in polar there is a charge of partial negative and partial positive any polar molecule or any polar bond which consists of partial positive charge in hydrogen atom then such polar bonds are known as polar protic molecules or polar protic solvent if the partial positive is present another than hydrogen atom like carbon sulfur then such molecules are known as polar aprotic molecule now let discuss what is inducting effect all about there is some text which i have uh, written first of all in let us consider a case of methane let us consider a case of methane ch3 single bond ch3 in methane both the carbon are having same electronegativity and the two electrons are shared between the center of this bond between two carbon atom so this bond is perfectly non polar there is no induction take place but 
if in this ethane molecule I will put chlorine, now what happened? Chlorine is more electronegative. So, it withdraw electron cloud from this bond and both the electron goes towards chlorine generating partial negative charge to chlorine and partial positive to this carbon due to deficiency of electron in this carbon it pull the electron cloud from another CH3 molecule towards itself. Now you can able to see presence of chlorine converts partial negative small partial positive in carbon but in case of ethane this is perfectly non-polar. So chlorine withdraw electron cloud from carbon such effect is known as minus I effect or electron withdrawing nature. So, before proceeding to further, you can able to see there are two effects plus I and minus I in organic chemistry and both are with respect to carbon atom. What does it mean? Both are with respect to carbon atom. Assuming that there is a carbon atom which is attached with a group. Now, if this group is more electronegative than carbon, this group withdraw electron cloud from carbon bond. If this group withdraw electron cloud from carbon, it look like this. Suppose this is an electron cloud. This electron cloud is more towards this group. So, this group withdraw electron cloud. Such groups are known as minus I group. But if there are some group which are less electronegative than carbon and give electron cloud towards carbon. So, it increase the electron density in carbon generating partial negative charge in carbon and partial positive charge in the group. So, such groups are known as plus I group. So, can we say that with respect to carbon, there the, with respect to carbon, there are two type of groups. One group which donate electron pair to carbon are known as plus I. Another groups are which withdraw electron cloud from carbon is known as minus I. So, there are two type of group. One group which withdraw electron, other group which donate electron. The group which donate electron are plus I, the group which withdraw electron are minus I. Now, let us see some characteristics of plus I and minus I groups both plus i and minus i as i have just explained are operated through sigma bond that means if there is a carbon atom there is a group the electron cloud are in the sigma bond from the sigma bond the group withdraw electron from carbon so the minus i effect or plus i effect both the effects are operated through mainly sigma bond and opposite to each other that means minus i withdraw plus i donates. Now, you can able to see that in ethyl chloride, which example I have seen, the minus I effect increase the electron density in group and decreases electron density in carbon. One more important thing is that, can I say, any group which shows plus I effect are those which donate electron to carbon. That means, it increase the electron density in carbon. Similarly, the group which shows minus I effect withdraw the electron cloud from carbon and decrease the electron density in carbon. So, the group which exhibit plus I increases electron density in carbon and the group which shows minus I decreases electron density in carbon. The group which shows plus I generate partial negative charge in carbon whereas the group which shows minus I generate partial positive charge in carbon because it decreases electron density. So, these are the basic information about group which shows plus I and the group which shows minus I effect. Let us see what are the group which shows plus I and what are the group which shows minus I effect. You have to remember these two lines. First of all, as I have already explained, the group which withdraw electron cloud from carbon must be more electronegative than carbon. That means all group which are more electronegative than carbon must show minus I effect. So, you can able to see that in minus I, I have written several group. You can see all functional group, all nitrogen containing compound, all halogens, all compound which are triple or double bonded are more electronegative than carbon and it exhibit minus I effect. So, the most electronegative element or which exhibit strong minus I effect are NR3 plus, NR3 plus, then NH3, then NO2, then CN, then SO3, all functional group, right? After functional group, halogens, 
do not directly compare the relation of minus i with electronegativity because you know that the fluorine is most electronegative so it must be placed at first position but this can be explained through resonance as in the coming lecture i will explain resonance then i will detail ex detailly explain the why fluorine are in this position irrespective of their strong minus i effect but in in general this this chart you have to remember so the most strongest minus i effect if somebody will ask you it will be nr3 plus then it is will be nh3 plus and then this order will be followed all functional group starting from cyano compound to amide compound exhibit stronger minus i effect as compared to halogens then oxygen and nitrogens and least is hydrogen so you can say all functional groups all halogens all nitrogen compounds all hydroxy and amino compound exhibit minus i effect that means almost all group exhibiting minus i effect decrease electron density in carbon and generate partial positive charge so the group which decreases electron density from carbon are these and these group generate partial positive charge the electron density in carbon decreases now coming up to partial plus i effect there are very few group which exhibit plus i effect there are very few group which exhibit plus i effect like o minus now you will say oxygen is more electron then why o minus shows plus i effect the reason behind it let's say i have connected the oxygen with carbon no doubt oxygen and carbon the oxygen is more electronegative it withdraw electron cloud from carbon generating partial positive and exhibiting minus i effect correct now if the example is there is o negative charge o negative charge attached with carbon now you can able to see that o negative means this oxygen is electron rich it consists of three lone pair of electrons so these three lone pair of electron density repel this electron cloud due to this repulsion the electron go towards carbon and o minus exhibit plus i effect so please remember that if there is a negative charge in oxygen it shows plus i effect where the neutral oxygen shows minus i effect so i have put this o minus as minus plus i effect group now co minus you can see i have written co minus a minus i group but co minus plus i group why the same reason which i have explained for example if this is COOH group attached with some carbon. Now, this COOH group exhibit minus I effect. It withdraw electron cloud and generate partial plus. But if the case is C double bond O, O minus charge attached with carbon due to this negative charge, the entire zone is negatively charged and this negative charge repel electron cloud towards carbon having plus I effect and this carbon get partial negative. So, this is the basic difference between neutral COOH and CO minus apart from these two example all alkyl group exhibit plus I effect like methyl ethyl butyl you can see this is a carbon this is methyl group it exhibit plus I effect why methyl group shows plus I effect I will explain in lecture 2 when I will explain the hyperconjugation concept so this methyl plus I now if there is a ethyl group two carbon the plus i of ethyl must be higher than this methyl so if you increase the carbon chain the plus i increases to certain extent after that remain constant but i want to say that let's say there is a methyl group and there is a ethyl group and there is a propyl group and there is a butyl group like this if i am increasing the carbon chain to four correct so the plus i effect of butyl is maximum and methyl is least that means higher the number of carbon higher the plus i effect it is directly proportional to the number of carbon atom but after certain extent the number of carbon chain will not impact higher in plus i effect so this plus methyl group will donate this carbon this carbon this carbon so the overall plus i increases so all r group exhibit plus i effect now this is about carbon chain now let us say there is three different type of group one is one ch3 butyl like this and ch2 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 ch3 tertiary butyl and normal butyl now in this normal butyl this methyl group will give electron to this carbon this carbon get methyl electron from this methyl give to this carbon then again this carbon then plus i effect will be observed particularly this carbon 
but in the butyl group all alkyl group will give methyl this carbon electron and entire electrons are going towards this carbon so the plus i effect of this will must be higher than the plus i effect of normal chain that means always remember higher the number of carbon attached to a particular carbon it increases the electron density as well as the plus i effect now let's see the application of plus i and minus i before proceeding to the application let us understand if I ask you a simple question between carbon and carbon plus, which is more stable? Obviously, you will say C is more stable. Now, think about that. Why C plus is unstable? Can I say the C plus is unstable because of this positive charge? So, can I say charge because of this charge, this carbocation is unstable? So, can I write charge is inversely proportional to stability higher the charge lower will be the stability higher the charge lower will be the stability that means if there are two atom one c plus another c plus and this plus is higher than this that means this is more stable so higher the charge lower is the stability so inversely proportional so, the inducting effect play a very important role in the carbocation as well as in carboanion. Let us see an example. I have taken four. One, two, three. This is the fourth molecule, right? In the fourth molecule, this all four molecules, there is a common thing. C plus, C plus, C plus. Now, see, this C plus attach with three alkyl groups. Therefore, we have written that tertiary carbocation. This carbocation is attached with two alkyl group so this is prime secondary carbocation one alkyl primary no alkyl all are hydrogen so this is a methyl group so in the fourth case if all alkyl group exhibit plus i effect it ele donate electron to c plus now the we know that the charge of electron is negative now the negative charge is coming from this carbon this carbon and this carbon so this positive charge will decrease but in the secondary, there are only two methyl groups which are donating electrons. So, the positive charge obviously decreases, but more decreases in the fourth case. Like this, so least carbon, least charge in carbocation is in the fourth case. So, fourth is more stable than three, then two, then one. Why? Because charge, as I have written, is inversely proportional to stability. So, highest charge in first position because there is no alkyl group attached with the carbocation which donate electron and decrease the positive charge. But in tertiary groups, there are three alkyl groups which donate electron to this positive charge and the positive charge decreases. Due to this reason, tertiary carbocations are more stable. Now, let us take an example of negative charge. The concept is valid in this case also. If I ask you between C and C minus, which is stable, you will say C. Now, again, charge is inversely proportional to stability. Higher the stability, lower will be the charge. And reverse is also true. That means we have to see whether the negative charge is higher or lower. If negative charge is higher, stability must be lower. Now, C. In the first case, this is a methyl carbocation, again primary carbocation, secondary carbo, sorry, anion, and fourth is tertiary carboanion. So, in the first case, the carbon, all three are hydrogen. And we know that there is no effect of hydrogen at such as compared to plus i and minus i. So, the negative charge, let's say there is 100% negative charge is present here. But in the second case, there is an alkyl group and two hydrogen atom. Now, this alkyl group donate electron to carbon because of the plus i effect of this this negative charge must increase because of the plus i of this r so between these two the atom or the carbon which consists of lesser anionic or lesser negative charge must be first one so as we move this direction or we are adding more alkyl group due to addition of more alkyl group the plus i effect increases and the negative charge increases so stability in carboanion is reverse as that of carbocation because in carbocation what we have written three degrees more stable than two degree than in one degree in case of positive charge but in case of negative charge it is reverse because charge irrespective of plus or minus is always inversely proportional to stability so this is the most important topic by which we can able to solve 
more and more questions which are coming into medical and engineering entrance examination right so let's see the application of inducting effects so first most important application is the dipole movement you can see higher the minus i effect higher is the dipole movement but you know that iodine and bromine and chlorine chlorine is more electronegative so the dipole movement is higher but you know that dipole movement is distance into charge so if you increase the electronegativity of an atom it increases electron cloud and the dipole movement will increase so inducting effect in application of inducting effect the most important thing is dipole movement higher the inducting effect higher is the dipole movement it will also affect the bond length higher the electronegativity higher the electron negativity higher will the chance to withdraw electron and the due to withdrawing electron the bond length decreases so you can see iodine the bond length increases third is strength of fatty acid i will explain in uh, coming lecture how to predict the strength of acidic strength so i am not explaining much in this case because i will explain this in another lecture in detail how the if how will it affect the strength of as well as substitution in the acid so these two point i will explain in coming lectures now let us see few questions based on inducting effect only so this is the first question which of the following shows plus i effect if you have understood all the uh, theory which i have just discussed you can able to see that which molecule shows plus i effect ome the oxygen methoxy group you know that oxygen is more electronegative so it exhibit minus i effect you know that the nh3 the strongest minus i effect again oxygen minus i effect but if there is a o negative functional group there is a plus i effect sorry minus i but o negative functional group exhibit plus i so the correct answer will be c you can able to stop the video and solve the question by yourself let's see the other question see which of the following carbocation is most stable up if you are asking that stability as i have already explained charge is inversely proportional to stability so if you decrease charge stability increases so in the first case there are two methyl group donating electron to carbocation if these two methyl group donating electron to carbocation this positive charge decreases but in b there are three methyl group which are donating electron cloud to this carbon so between a and b you can see that this positive must be lower as compared to first one but in the c case this aldehyde group exhibit minus i effect if minus i effect it withdraw electron if it withdraw electron the positive charge increases and stability decreases but in the d case there is a ethyl group which are donating electron so what will be the correct order highest stability will be b then a then d then c why it is show because in b all alkyl group are donating electron pair to this carbocation because of which the carbocation the positive charge decreases but in case of a there are two methyl group which are donating in case of d one methyl group donating another ch2 group then from this ch2 group the electrons are coming to c plus and in the c case all of you know that the cho group exhibit minus i effect right so moving ahead to question number 3 let's see under which of the following condition generate free radical does not take place that means in this question they are asking that out of these four cases which case free radical that means homolytic cleavage will not take place as i have mentioned high temperature sunlight and presence of peroxide these are the three cases where homolytic cleavage take place that means the correct answer will be d but polar aprotic solvent in polar solvent heterolytic cleavage take place right so heterolytic cleavage generate cations and anions so in the d heterolytic cleavage take place no free radical form coming up to question number 4 see there is a two difference one is homolytic other is heterolytic homolytic cleavage and heterolytic cleavage in homolytic cleavage the energy is x joule whereas heterolytic cleavage the energy is y joule now depend the energy depend mainly the electron negativity difference between a and b and it is not given that which is more electron negative which and what is the difference between electron negative therefore the correct answer is depend upon nature of a and b so easy question 
नाउ इन क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव हेट्रोसाइक्लिक सॉरी हेट्रोलाइटिक क्लिवेज इज मोर रेडिली इन ऑलवेज रिमेंबर दैट हेट्रोलाइटिक क्लिवेज मेनली डिपेंड अपॉन द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी हाइयर द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी इजियर विल बी द बॉन्ड डिसोशिएशन so between cc the electronegativity is almost similar between c and h almost similar cc perfectly similar cno there is a gap between electronegativity o and h there is a big difference between electronegativity so highest difference in electronegativity is observed in oh therefore most easily heterolytic cleavage is observed in oh group moving to question number 6 so in the question number 6 plus i effect we have to arrange in different groups first group is in benzene ring o minus is attached and this group is will be like this right in the second there is coo minus and cr cr3 means r r r always remember plus i effect means electron donating capacity electron will be donated more easily by the group which consists of higher electron density so negative charge always consists of higher electron density but this is also negative charge but this there are two oxygen and you know that the oxygen is electron negative so two oxygen will give less electron as compared to one oxygen so this negative charge will donate maximum electron so the correct answer will be a you can see both are negative charge highest electron donating capacity R3 I have already explained in the previous just three to four minute back class. So this is correct. So between these two, this will give more electron because of one oxygen. This will give less electron because of two oxygen atoms. In the question number seven, in the question number seven, I have written that decrease order of minus i. You all I have already discussed about this functional group exhibit stronger minus i as compared to halogens. So Cn COH F Cl Br H I. if you, uh, i have already given that the minus i order you have to remember the minus i order to solve such kind of questions these type of question is always asked in the exam in the question number 8 which of the following is applicable for inducting effect see bond length i have already explained bond length mainly depend upon the inducting effect second is dipole movement it is depend upon the inducting effect third is strength of carboxylic acid it is also depend upon the inducting effect that means all of these effect are observed in inducting effect let's see another question which of the following is the most stable again let's see this methyl group exhibit plus i effect so plus i decreases positive charge this chlorine exhibit minus i effect this two methyl donating electron so but in the question it is mentioned that least stable so no2 group exhibit minus i effect cl exhibit lesser minus i as compared to no2 methyl exhibit plus i two methyl exhibit higher plus i so the stability order must be d then c then b then a so least stable the answer will be a <coughs> you can stop the video try these question by yourself to have better practice which of the following carbocation is most stable so in uh, next lecture i will explain about the resonance in that resonance you can understand the actual answer of this question so this because of this oxygen pair it donate electron and the stability of carbocation increases it might possible in the first lecture you are unable to understand this question but after resonance you can able to give the answer so i am not explaining much more because i have not yet explained resonance so correct answer will be c so come moving ahead to the another question of uh, b which of the carbocation is least intermediate always remember that carbo carbon plus charge is highly unstable if you increase the electro negativity of the atom what i am want to say if you say that fluorine it is most electro negative that means the positive charge is highly unstable then oxygen plus is unstable in case of carbon if carbon is triple bond it is sp hybridized if it is sp hybridized the positive charge is unstable because if you increase the s character it increases electro negativity so sp the electro negativity is very high and the positive charge is unstable then it is much more stable than double bond positive charge then single bond positive charge so sorry this stability is o plus is more stable than c plus because i have already explained electro negativity higher positive charge stability lower i am again writing this electro negativity higher positive charge stability lower 
अगेन इलेक्ट्रो नेगेटिविटी हाइयर नेगेटिव चार्ज स्टेबिलिटी हाइयर बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रीजन एफ प्लस इज लेस स्टेबल देन ओ प्लस देन सी प्लस एंड इन केस ऑफ ट्रिपल बॉन्ड एस पी हाइब्रिडाइज इज लेस स्टेबल एज कॉम्पेयर टू डबल बॉन्ड एज कॉम्पेयर टू सिंगल बॉन्ड सो पॉजिटिव चार्ज बट इफ आई विल गिव नेगेटिव चार्ज द ऑर्डर मस्ट बी रिवर्स वन मोर थिंग द कार्बन विच इज ब्रिज हेड पोजिशन ब्रिज हेड हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई ब्रिज हेड एनी कार्बन विच इज अटैच विथ थ्री कार्बन एंड ऑल थ्री आर पार्ट ऑफ रिंग सच कार्बन इज नोन एज ब्रिज हेड कार्बन सो एनी कार्बन विच इज ब्रिज हेड कार्बन if it consists of positive charge the such carbocation are highly unstable why because it increase strain which i have not yet explain i will in coming lecture i will explain about the strain so always remember bridge head position the positive charge is highly unstable so the correct answer will be c so if i have to write the exact stability order i will say a is more stable than b then d and then c d is less stable than b why because in d the positive charge in sp2 hybridized whereas in b the positive charge in sp3 hybridized in b there is a resonance also but i am not discussing resonance because we are conduct we are focusing on inducting effect in b the positive charge is in sp3 hybridized and sp2 as you know that if you increase s character the electronegativity increases and if you increase electronegativity the positive charge stability decreases so moving to another uh, type of question in this i have asked about the true and false type of question so in the first time you can able to see that inducting effect is the ability of an atom or group of atom to cause polarization of electron density along a covalent bond so that the atom of higher electron negativity become electron deficient is this true or false if you can able to see the last line higher electron negativity become electron deficient but we know that higher electron negativity accept electron and become electron rich so this is false so the first statement is false now coming up to second statement the oh group cannot exhibit inducting effect and we know that if carbon is attached with oxygen oh group oxygen is more electronegative it will draw electron from carbon and exhibit minus i effect so based on this information second is also false step 3 or sorry question 3 inducting effect can be responsible for the dipole movement of the molecule yes it is true because i have already explained higher the electronegativity higher the dipole movement fourth point plus i group attached with the carboxylic group weaker the acidic strength of carboxylic yes it is also true because you see if there is a carboxylic groups r c o o h and you will put a group which shows plus i plus i means electron donating nature if they donate electron electron will go towards carbon from carbon go towards oxygen from oxygen go towards hydrogen so removal of h plus is difficult because both the electron are accepted by hydrogen if electron are coming so it this bond will stronger and acidic strength decreases fifth point inducting effect implies the atoms ability to cause bond polarization yes it is also true because inducting effect are mainly responsible for bond polarization so so far we have discussed two most important thing one first thing what are the type of cleavage homolytic and heterolytic and second thing how you define the inducting effect i have discussed few questions also so in my next lecture i am going to explain you about resonance and hyperconjugation so wait for my next lecture we'll explain resonance i and hyperconjugation so stay tuned subscribe our channel of entrance i on youtube for more information of upcoming videos thank you guys thank you very much